have been possibly no more than five at that. And the child, I, I, I wasn't in ear sight, but I heard the mother repeat to the father that was on site, did you hear what she said? It's damn hot in there. <laughs> the child was not of age to be having that kind of language. But it's like the mother reinforced, wow, I'm proud of you that you said, it's damn hot in there. So it, it starts at home for what we, what we send to you to, to, to enforce what we're looking for. As it pertains to um, if the, I think that kids in a high school or a college could do a conscious conversation, I think this was a good example of you gave us a framework um, and I think that students have the capability to take a framework and to be able, with some guidance, would be able to have a conscious conversation. So framework, uh, the guidelines, the topics, and then maybe some reminders on when they veer off of the guidelines, but I, don't, I think it would be a good tool because I think when we started, some of us were in the mindset of like, well, you know, I don't know where you're going with this, but I think that ultimately the thing that happens is, is that we just stay within our, in, inside the guidelines and I think it's a good tool for having a conversation where you, you, you stay within a framework and are able to c communicate without um, having an argument or other, whatever other rules were set up. So I think it would be a good tool for both of those uh, um, you know, high school students and college students because it allows for them to operate within a framework of a, of a discussion. So. So uh, just to piggyback on what you said, uh, and also, first of all, thank you, teacher. Uh, thank you, teacher. And I'm an educator also. Um, so I agree with everything you said. But the question was about can millennials or young people, I think absolutely. Mm. I think, honestly, I think this is what they're looking for. They're actually looking for something different because they've been doing things a certain way and it hasn't been successful um, when they communicate, you know, with each other or when they're taught how to be even in the political circles, that kind of conversation hasn't worked for our children. I think having conversations like this and you have understood guidelines, I think it could work. And real quickly, um, go back to, you said the millenniums. Now you gotta think about where you were at 21, 22 and where were your consciousness? Cause I know where I was. And if someone was to come to me and try to educate me about certain, well, I'm a little different, but you know, mm -hmm. we go back a long, long time, but we had people when we were in our twenties mm -hmm. that said we could go sit down with, sit at a bookstore for hours mm -hmm. and be around this. So for us, this is nothing. We've been doing this for a long time, having courageous conversations. Mm -hmm. But I guess it's important for us to go back and find that next group of young people that's just like us, you know, all different economic levels, educational levels, to have these conversations and do it in this manner and have the, the, the things we want to talk about laid out, I think it'd be beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I think that's something we should strive for. I have to leave, but thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. Let me know when we can continue and uh, what's the next step. Let's yes, sir. That's something. And if we can, I don't know how you want to do this, but I think, I think when we lay down the guidelines, if, you're, if you want to do this, we could do this. Now we could have sat here and bickered over these six things left and then got nothing done. But you brought the right people here together who can figure it out. Mm -hmm. And I think that we need to expand it. Mm -hmm. You know, bring someone who you know can, can help elevate the conversation and also just expand the knowledge base because mm -hmm. we got to get this information out to our people um, as soon as possible. Thank you for, thanks for having me. Thanks for coming through, my brother. All right, that's fine. Yes, sir. Um, in response to your question, yes. Um, I think it would be very helpful. I see it as another tool. Um, not everyone's gonna gravitate to it and not everyone's gonna be able to take it and use it the way they should. But I don't think anything taught in school is accepted because, as you said, we're all different. Um, it's not, everyone's not going to be able to take it and do with it. But that should not stop it from being a part of the curriculum. Um, I don't necessarily think we need to wait till high school. I think even earlier 
it, it would be helpful even earlier. And I think the earlier the better, because then you can continually practice and get better. So that's it. One of the things I've learned <clears throat> about human behavior is anytime something new and unfamiliar is introduced, especially when it challenges how we normally function, there's always going to be pushback. You know, that's just standard procedure. It, it's, it's just real because it's, it's, it's innate. It's our nature to first reject it before we even start trying to hear it out because it's just a, kind of almost like a knee-jerk reaction. But yeah, I um, uh, ultimately would like to definitely um, share with young people. Now, share with young people, whether it's an elementary, high school, or college age people, doesn't necessarily mean share in the institutions. You know, it's just like come here and you create your own environment. You don't have to go by anybody's rules or anybody's standards. And part of the next approach, or what I call the next private conversation, I would like to have people that came today and maybe even others come and bring some, a young person with them and participate in the conversation and go over the guidelines and then have a conversation and have, deal with some topics or thoughts that, things that, that are on their mind, you know, and, um, and see what they're thinking because most, a lot of young people today are just rejecting everything. Young people today, you can't tell them to do something that they've watched all their life didn't work for you. If you telling them to go to church and pray and, and this is gonna be whatever, whatever, and they've watched you just suffer your whole life and watched you pray and it wasn't working and just watched you in pain and all that, they're just rejecting it. They're not accepting, even, and they're, they're like, I just go on my own and figure it out. But you can't just tell me to do something that I've watched not work for you your whole life. It's not happening. So um, I think a lot of them, you know, are open. It's not just like uh, teenagers but older kids and younger kids are open to receive something different if it's introduced and um, it, it's just an added option or approach to dealing with life in general, you know, because they're being introduced to all kinds of new things all the time. It's, it's funny how adults can listen to something and say, well, I don't think they're, that they receive that. While at the same time, in educational introduce institutions, they're being introduced to new stuff all the time. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, it, you know, it, it's expected to happen there. But if it's something that's not a part of the, the institution, and you talk about introducing it now, it's, I, well, I don't know if that's something that they'd be interested in receiving, you know. Well, they, they wasn't interested in receiving what they're being introduced to anyway, but still being introduced to it and receiving it and sometimes making the decision whether to accept it or reject it. So uh, for me, the, the next private conversation I uh, would like to do would be one that included young people and them, us interacting and having a discussion about some of the things that are on their mind as opposed to them being in an environment where they're being dictated to as far as what to think and how to think and what they're supposed to do. So if you can keep that in mind, that's, 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 that's what it would be about. You know, that's what I like to do. And ultimately, I definitely wanna uh, go into the institutions as well. And that's why I'm working on finishing this book so that um, I can have something to say, hey, check it out, take it or leave it, you know. But we always have the same challenges, you know. People want to say, 
people want to stay in the realm of right and wrong.